Stereo Tape Recorder with 81 Tracks, The Unique Music Box by Schaub Lorenz. In 1969, radio service Twenth Company in The Hague introduced to the Dutch market the Stereo 6000 Music Center construction set. The device was not a magnetophone in the traditional version. The kit consisted of an 81-track stereo tone belt drive made by Schaub Lorenz, which was mechanically and electrically installed and adjusted at the factory. The work that the enthusiast had to do consisted of mounting the electronic part and its fairly simple adjustment. Assembly involved mounting the components on three PCBs in some construction sets. One of the three PCBs is already mounted and installing the supplied ready-made wiring and cabling. The objective at Schaub Lorenz was to construct an easy-to-use recorder with a large playback capacity of approximately 30 hours continuously without having to change a single tape, while also offering the possibility of a quick and clear selection made from a large number of pieces of music similar to a gramophone record collection. In practice, a 10 centimeter or 4-inch wide magnetic tape proved to be the best, on which no fewer than 162 audio tracks of 0.35 millimeters width are recorded. For stereo, this amounts to 81 tracks. Two separate heads have been provided for the stereo track. The single erase head covers the entire stereo track, almost one millimeter in width. However, for the handy user, it is always possible to double the number of available tracks for mono recordings by switching off the erase head for the second track and switching the existing record playback heads. The length of the tracks, which are recorded one above the other, must have a duration of 22 minutes. The small number of controls on the device is striking. Only four push buttons, a track selector switch, and a power switch were not included in the kit and can be mounted separately. The Stereo 6000 has a recording tape that is permanently mounted on the running gear behind the large track selection scale. This unit must not be simply changed. If this becomes necessary due to wear and tear over the years, these units retailed for approximately 60 Dutch guilders. However, the manufacturer guaranteed the proper functioning of the recorder by using the same tape. That is why the device must be mounted in a dust-tight cabinet with a dust filter for the cooling opening at the rear. The length of the tape is calculated on the duration of a normal LP record with a diameter of 30 centimeters so that it is possible to record and playback more than 40 stereo LPs on both sides in succession. This will be sufficient for most music lovers. Within the annals of audio history, the Stereo 6000 Music Center is a worthy addition whether as a collection item or using it as a working playback device. We take great pride in offering our visitors a demonstration of the Stereo 6000 Music Center at the Retro Audio Museum in Lelystad, the Netherlands.